Hello and welcome to Cubase Elementary. This is a series of video for Cubase Elements users, but of course everything will be applicable to artists and pro users as well. Although this video is about a feature that isn't in Cubase Elements, which is in Artist and Pro, which is the batch export function. Now what that is, is if you come up to File, down to Export, and then Audio Mixdown, with Cubase Elements, you can only really do an export of the stereo out channels. Whereas in Artist and Pro, depending on how large your session is, you'd have all of your drums and vocals and bass tracks listed down here. And you could choose which ones of these you wanted to export and then do a batch export should you wish to share your audio files with someone else or put them into a different door. Or maybe you're like me and before you start doing mixing properly, after editing the audio, you just want to have a clean export with everything nice and tidy. But as I say, that isn't an option within Cubase Elements, but there is a way around it. Let's just cancel that. Now, all versions of Cubase have a function called the freeze audio channel. Now, what this does is say, for example, you've got a session running and you're using rather a lot of plugins and it's eating up your CPU usage and um, everything's slowing down and you're getting pops and clicks and it's just not working like you would want. By clicking the button, you'll do a quick audio mix down and then Cubase won't use those inserts because it'll just use the bit of audio that it's just rendered out. However, you could also use this to do batch exporting. So for example, here we've got the guitar track selected. So literally, if you just hit the freeze audio channel button, you get a dialog box come up with a tail size, which is just how much of a handle do you want on your piece of audio. Click the OK button. And then Cubase exports the audio. Now, where does this audio actually end up? Well, in your project folder, you'll have a folder called freeze. And let's just put this back into the project. Ooh. As you can see, this is the new piece of audio that's just been created. And it's an exact um, mix down of the guitar track. Let's just delete this for now. Now, if you wanted to make the track live again and not use the rendered out piece of audio, you just re-click the freeze audio channel button and click unfreeze. Or you can click keep freeze files, which will unfreeze the track, but keep the files you've just created. But for now, let's just click unfreeze. So far, so good. However, you might have a situation like with the vocals where there are gaps of nothing in your track. So if you just go ahead and click the audio freeze channel button, Cubase does create a new piece of audio. Well, let's bring the vocals back into the project. So what it's done is Cubase has ignored all of the bits where there aren't any audio events and it's just bunched all the audio up, which isn't really what you want for a batch export because obviously you just want to be able to import the whole thing and everything should line up nicely. However, there is a way around this. So let's remove that. And we'll come up and we'll unfreeze the audio. So the best way to do this is keep that in mind when you're recording and like with the guitar track, end up with a piece of audio that doesn't have any gaps. However, if you're faced with the situation like we have with the vocals, you could always do something like this as a workaround. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the guitar track and then I'm going to make a cut before the guitar comes in and we will get rid of all of the guitar. Then I'm going to click the bit of silence at the beginning and hit Control D or Command D on Mac. We're just going to make lots of silence. I mean, it's not complete silence, but it's near as damn it for this example. Then what we're going to do is we're going to select the two bits of vocals and holding down Command or Control on the PC, we're going to bring these down onto our new track. We're then going to select everything, click the glue tool here, and just click anywhere on the new piece of audio. We're going to rename this 
at uh, new vocals. And now when we click the freeze audio channel button and create the new piece of audio, when we re-import it into the project, it should be exactly how we'd like it to be. And there we have it. So that's a great workaround to use the freeze audio channel function to do batch exporting in Cubase. If you found that helpful, please click subscribe and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.